Hey y'all, I'm Pam with 44 Marketplace. And if today's your first visit to my channel, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm glad you're here. Please take a minute to subscribe and click the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And keep in mind, I try to put a material list in the comments below each one of the videos. If I miss something, please let me know. Okay, let's get started. The nail, okay? This one is Rusty Nail, and you guys can see, this is a fabulous color, especially if you love uh, old finishes like I do, because we're gonna like really grunge this one up. All right, so that is three. We're gonna mess around with those three because I don't wanna keep you guys all night. I know this is a holiday weekend, but if you work for yourself, this is a great time to get stuff done, and my store will be open tomorrow, so there is that. All right, so now this is the one that we stained. Now we're gonna go back in and we're gonna add some other colors to it. You know one of my faves, which I think a lot of people don't like, um, one of my favorites is Holy Guacamole. Is that not awesome? All right, so we're gonna put a little Holy Guacamole on here, and now you know when I do this, I like to dry brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry brush a little bit of this on here. And I'm gonna kind of get some on these little stripes and on the spots because I really want some of this green. I'm offloading my brush a little bit and I'm also gonna get some of my terracotta because you know, the terracotta is gonna be cute on here with it. And yes, I am using the same brush if anybody asks. And see, I don't really want to paint it on. I just want it to have the personality of terracotta over my stain. Because I want these to kind of be old looking. And I may even paint the base brown because, you know, I want them to be old. And I may put bronze on them too. If you guys want to hang with me a little while, we may put bronze on these babies too. Because why not? I mean, people ask me, why do you do that? My answer is usually, why not? Ask my parents. When I was growing up, that was kind of an answer that they got a lot. Why not? You know, I don't know. Why not? I want you guys, if you pray, if not, I'll take happy thoughts. My dad finished his chemo treatment, and we are waiting on his PET scan, and we are sure hoping for good results. So if you're a prayer... Pray. If you're not, I'll take whatever you got to offer. All right, I want a little bit more. And I think maybe it needs rusty nail too. All right, we're gonna just, this brush is, you know, like the drink when you were in high school, how everybody kind of passed it all around. I'll take a drink of that Coke. Yep. Well, this is it. We're gonna all drink uh, out of the uh, orange aid. That's what we had at our school. We had um, a fountain downtown. So when we were having something at school, we would walk downtown and we would get an orange aid because we actually had a soda fountain downtown because I grew up in a very small town in Alabama. Shout out to my peeps in Lineville. I love you guys. Um, and it was a maze ball. I mean, it was a great place to grow up. I wouldn't have wanted to grow up anywhere else. All right. So now you can see that our pumpkin is not orange. It is not brown. It is not rusty nail. And you know what? It is not green enough for me. All right, it's greener. Still like more green. I'm telling you, I love holy guacamole. Hey, from Lineville, there you go. There's one of my people. <laughs> I love you guys. I follow all of you guys. I love it when I get to sneak away. A couple weeks ago, I got to sneak away and when my parents got up out of the bed, I was laying in the swing on their front porch before 6.15 in the morning. I left my house a little after 3 so that I could get there when they woke up. All right, there you go. There's one of our pumpkins. All right, so now we're going to pull this baby out. 
because we love this. Oh, did you see the shirt I have on? I have my Bell and Bow Tour. If you guys haven't gotten one of the shirts, even if you're not planning on going, holy cow, it's probably the most comfortable shirt that I own because it's the softest shirt I own. It's fabulous. It feels like it's been washed for 15 years or something. And don't laugh because I have pieces that I have probably washed for 15 years. If I could still fit into something older than that, I would have probably kept that too. <laughs> you guys just don't know me. I am that person. If it's comfy, why get rid of it? You know, hold on to it tightly. <laughs> All right, there's what we're looking for right there. I want more, 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 more. I need a bigger one. There we go. All right, so have you guys ever tried Black Magic Voodoo Gel Stain? I am going to use it tonight, not as a gel stain, but as a wash, because I really just want my piece to have a little old feel to it. So I'm gonna dampen my brush a lot. Um, and I just washed these brushes out after class yesterday, so they've still got quite a bit of, of what they had on them from yesterday. So we're going to wash it. Now, I want you guys to see when I do this, it looks like I'm making a hot mess of this pumpkin. I have not clear coated it yet because I want this to actually stain my paint, okay? We're going to do more to this pumpkin than just this, but first and foremost, I want to stain my paint up. Now, if you look at it, you can see it's kind of orange and black, which kind of says Halloween, right? My mom's birthday is on Halloween, so I've always loved Halloween. Uh, I really love it when my birthday, which is October the 13th, falls on Halloween. I mean, on, on Halloween, on Friday the 13th, but it has not done it this year, sadly, uh, but September the 13th is gonna be a Friday the 13th. So that is awesome, I love it. Okay, so you can see what I've done to this side of this pumpkin. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wipe it back because I just want it stained. I don't want it to stay completely the whole thing. I just want it stained. And see how great that looks? Now, if I wipe it back with a wet cloth, I'll take more of it off. But right now, we're just going to see what we think of this before I make any decisions. Because I love the old look that it's given my paint. And you can also mist it with water. If you don't like how much you've got on there, if your brush is dragging, because when you're doing a wash, you do not want your brush to start dragging, okay? You really want it to keep moving and... Um, the product keep flowing over whatever you're working on. It's kind of like a blend, but not really, because you're not blending the color. You're actually just dirtying up so that you get an older look. And like I say, you can do this with watered down coffee bean, but I happen to have the black magic sitting here and I noticed it while I was cleaning up my big giant mess to start my evening off. It's always super fun when you spill 32 ounces of paint on your floor. It makes me feel very happy. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> now, I don't want it wiped back evenly because if I wipe it back evenly, then it's gonna look like a manufactured finish. And if you follow me at all, you know I'm all about some organic finishes. I want this to have an old feel. Can you see how that feels now? It is amazing. Molly's doctor's appointment is Friday the 13th. She'll get great news. Friday the 13th is super lucky. All right, so now you guys can see this is our second chubby pumpkin, okay? This is our chubby chubby pumpkin, and we've already done our tall skinny pumpkin, which is like my husband, tall and skinny and can carry it all off. So we've got that one. We've got our short fat one. We're going to do some more things to them, but we're going to Handle our rusty nail. Well, rusty nail's not dry yet, so we're gonna let it sit another minute. We may have to do rusty nail sometime tomorrow. All right, so now we've gotten this one. You can see, this is the way it sits in the base. See the little bottom that the base sits in? All right, so now we've got this one kind of old looking, and we've got this one over here who really looks old, and we're going to add a little bit of some uh, bronze to it. And I'm gonna grab it off my shelf. Let's 
say that? Where is it? Okay. <laughs> that is hysterical. The top almost came off of this so that I got to spill it on the floor. How great is that? Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to add a little bit of bronze to it. Now, this is not, if you've ever used Dixie Belle's patina paint in bronze, it's not a super bright color. It is fabulous, though. And I just want this to have a little bit of an old feel to it. I want it to have some places that are a little shimmery and shiny. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna add some shimmer and shine to this. And you know that I'm holding it upside down. This is where the base goes, right? That's why it's got this little extra piece. Okay, so now when you look at this, you're gonna get to see how great it looks in just a minute. I'm gonna hold it up to the light. And I have some new lights that are coming this week, so I'm hoping We'll have better video quality when the new lights get here. We will see. Because fluorescent lights do not do great for the videos. And we found out tonight that the computer doesn't do great for the videos either. All right, so I'm gonna flip it around the way that it goes. Now look how cute that is. See, 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 see. And if I decide later that I wanna age it, I can. But at this point, I'm really liking just a little bit of the bronze here and there because it gives it a little personality. Now, I am going to tell you when I do the stems, I'm not going to hold you guys up on your nice, busy, last hurrah of summer. But I am going to tell you that um, on the stems, I'm probably going to use collard greens and my holy guacamole because I really I love those two together. So you can see this is what it looks like because... I love kind of cruddy stuff, you know? Thank you, AJ, I appreciate that. I like cruddy, crusty, messy stuff. I really would prefer that it not be my, my shop floor like it is right now, but I do like cruddy, crusty stuff. All right, so now this one, we washed it, but while we're at it, we're gonna put a little bit of our bronze on here because we've already got this one looking old and I want it to have a little bit more kind of a texture. Now, I'm probably gonna go back in and add a little bit of my holy guacamole to it, but I like for my pieces to really have um, texture. Even though it doesn't have actual texture, I like for the eye to look at it and see texture. And that's something that we're gonna talk about this month because I want you guys to see that sometimes it's not really about your piece having texture, it's about what your eye thinks it has. And, you know, it's kind of like adding a mirror to a room to make the room look bigger. That's what we're gonna kind of do with this. We're going to add texture while not really adding texture. All right, so this is our second pumpkin. How great is that? So that is our second pumpkin. We're gonna sit it down here out of the paint because, it's been that kind of day. Um, the dog turned the couch over today. If you don't have Mastiffs, you can't understand this. I have a sleeper sofa and a super sweet Neo Mastiff. She was feeling her oats today and the sleeper sofa went conk right over. Um, it just happens. If you live with Mastiffs, you understand the dilemma. It happens and they don't mean it. She was just playing and being a rowdy girl. And I love me a rowdy girl. When she gets like that, my thought is I could look back on it later. Because a year ago this weekend, I lost my Clyde. My beautiful old gentleman. Okay, so now you can see what I'm doing. I'm basically softening up this rusty nail because the rusty nail is just really, really, really bright. And I, again, I'm not really into really bright. So we're gonna go over this just a little. And those of you who are late tuning in, this is night one of 31 Days of Life. And I had hoped to go live on YouTube as well, but with my paint disaster I had, we didn't get to go live on YouTube. 
But if you don't follow me on YouTube, I would greatly appreciate you guys subscribing and clicking the bell for me. I am working on that. All right. So now, once you do it, once you've gotten it, and it looks like I've got paint on, still on this brush. Um, yeah. If you've got a great day and you understand, don't you, Jackie? Um, now what I'm doing is I'm basically just getting the rest of this off of my brush on here. There's so little left. I'm just trying to drag it and get a little bit on there. See, you can see, I literally have almost none left on the brush. All right, so you can see what we've got there. Isn't that cute? Well, now we're gonna make it even cuter. We're gonna put our holy guacamole on there. And I really appreciate you guys sharing this out like you are and commenting. It, I hope that I'm not holding anybody up. I hope you guys are having a great holiday weekend. I hope everybody in the Southeast is kind of keeping an eye on our friend, the uh, Dorian hurricane, because it's wreaking havoc in the Bahamas. And we're just hoping that it doesn't wreak havoc here. But if it does, everybody needs to be paying attention and be prepared. Be prepared like a Boy Scout. Okay. So now, if you'll notice when I go around the little holes, I like to add a little bit of extra pressure because I want those little holes to pick up more of the color so that they really stand out. See how the holes stand out? How it piles up around them? So, no, Sheila, this is uh, holy guacamole. Bronze is up next, girl. Sheila got her a barn door. Y'all should see it. It's the bomb diggity. You know I love me some barn doors, don't you? Sheila loves her some Sinopoly too, don't you, girl? All right. So... Now, up near where this stem goes, I want to have a little bit of the extra of the green because I am going to have green in my stem. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have extra up at the top so that up near my stem will be green. I know! I can't wait. We need to take a picture of them together. You send me a picture and I'll put them in the same frame and we'll have a big brother and a little brother. All right, so now we're gonna add a little bit of our bronze to our pumpkins. And for the record, guys, I have a bunch of these pumpkins. I ordered a bunch from Sinopoly, not even to sell or to do in classes. I want them for decoration because they're so flipping fabulous. I needed some. So I sent Billy and Ellen a little message and I got me some pumpkins. I have three stacked pumpkins that I can't wait for you guys to see. But I'm not doing those live with you guys. You guys are just going to get surprised with those. They're going to be super cute. Okay. So, you can see what I have done. I have aged my pumpkins so that they're nice and old and crusty. So, there you go. You guys can see this is short fat number three. This is short fat number two. And this is tall skinny number one. So, if you guys are so inclined, there are some pumpkins. And I will have the bases and the stems done so that you guys can see them tomorrow. I appreciate you spending part of your night with me. Again, I'm tickled to show you. This is one of our projects for New Jersey for be the Bells and Bow Tour. And Dustin's going to be there with me. And Heather's going to be there with me. And Fiona and Brandy and... Do Dodson, who I love. She's from Texas. Gotta love me some Texas. And um, if you guys have questions, please hit me up. Oh, also, while I'm thinking about it, I do have a sale through tomorrow night at midnight Eastern Daylight Time. If you spend $75 on paint and stuff with me, then you get free shipping, you get a free synthetic brush, and you also get um, a free top coat sponge. So if you're so inclined, Hit me up with an order, and we will get it out Tuesday morning. We ship USPS, so we can't ship tomorrow. Sorry, guys. But y'all have a great evening, and I'll see you twice tomorrow. Thanks a bunch.